Hi everyone, hello everybody. So today I have a story for us um, and it's called The Princess and the Pea and it's a really really old story. I hope everyone is well. So uh, once upon a time there was a really really big kingdom with a queen and a, a king and they had a son who was the prince of the country and they wanted him to get married but he didn't want to he preferred to go and ride horses and play things and he just didn't want to get married so they uh, started uh, organizing these like balls where princesses in these beautiful dresses came to see him and he still couldn't pick any princess he wouldn't like anyone when his mom asked him what what's wrong why why can't you just pick uh, someone like a princess to live with and he said no mom I'm only going to marry a um, real princess and then his mom said well do you know how to find out which one is a real princess and the prince said no I don't know but I'm sure it's gonna come up and he kept on going in his horse riding and hunting and all these things so um, the queen went to see this wise old witch but she was a good witch she never did anything wrong to people she actually helped people she gave them medicine and she was very helpful so the queen went to see her and the witch told her what to do but I'm not gonna say it because we have to finish the story to find out what did the witch say so the queen came back home and she was pretty happy and everything was going the same way the same way all the time the same way so um, one day a really really bad weather came into the kingdom rain wind gale oh my goodness for three days it was like this rain wind gale all the time and all of a sudden there was a knock on the gate. Who is it? said the prince. And the queen said, <clears throat> I don't know, go and check. So the prince opened the door and there was this beautiful girl in her horse, getting out of her horse carriage saying, Oh, I'm Princess Isabel and I'm really tired and we can't find accommodation. Would it be possible maybe to stay here? And the prince just went, Wow! For himself, he wouldn't say it to the uh, to the princess. But for himself, he went um, wow. So he brought Princess Isabel in, and the queen saw that the prince has a lot of liking for uh, Princess Isabel. So she actually thought, okay, it is time to do what the good witch told me to do. So she gave Princess Isabel a bowl of soup, cup of tea to warm her up. And then she said, now, Princess, what would you like? Would you like uh, to sleep over here? And Princess Isabel said, yes, of course, because it's too cold and I've been on the way, on the road, and we couldn't find accommodation. That would be so kind. So the queen left the room, left the prince and Princess Isabel too. Um, chat together and she went and uh, talked to the maid and she said look listen okay we're gonna put 10 madrasses on the top of each other let's see if we can count till 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so that's a giant bat that's a big big bat for the princess and under the last mattress, I need you to put a pea, a tiny pea, okay? A tiny, tiny pea. So the maid did what she was told, what the queen uh, advised her to ask her to do, and everybody went to sleep.
the next morning the queen uh, asked the princess but uh, while having breakfast the queen asked the princess now how was your sleep there my dear and the princess goes oh, horrible you see I couldn't sleep because there was something uh, pushing into my back I think I'm full of um, full of bruises now and <laughs> my back is just hurting now the queen um, went to the prince and said look this is the real princess okay because a real princess feels a piece of pee even under 10 madrasses and this is what the maid has done the prince couldn't believe it he went no 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 that's impossible so they went into the room where the princess slept and the prince found one P so you know what happened the prince finally decided to get married because he saw he knew he has the real princess told princess Isabel that he likes her whether she liked to stay over there and get married and they got happy uh, they got married happy uh, lived happily ever after and no one ever has put a piece of pee under uh, pre uh, the princess's mat matras bye everyone